Stephen Colbert was overcome with emotion on Monday night before he paid tribute to a staffer who died. In a clip posted to X, formerly Twitter, the host is shown sitting at his desk as he delivers closing remarks for the episode. That's it for The Late Show, Colbert, 59, said to a very quiet studio audience before getting choked up, tapping his desk with the palm of his hand. Colbert then offered a short good night before walking off stage. A guitar then began to play as the screen faded to black. A title card appeared, reading, dedicated to our dear friend Amy Cole, 1970 to 2024. Colbert's reaction sparked an outpouring of sympathy. Life is always too short. My deepest sympathy, one user wrote. We were all confused over what was happening. He was hugging people, and then he came back to his desk, a second viewer recounted. He asked us not to applaud and proceeded to his close. I am so sorry for his and the show's loss. So sorry to hear this. Condolences to her family, work family, her friends, and all who knew her, posted a third person. The post reached out to The Late Show with Stephen Colbert for comment. In an obituary for Cole, who worked for Colbert as a personal and executive assistant, it was stated that the Texas native died Sunday after a brief illness. Cole worked with Colbert for 16 years. Working with Colbert for 16 years was more than a job to Amy, the statement read. It gave her a purpose and provided an opportunity to showcase herself as an incredible teammate to everyone involved. The Late Show paid tribute to Stephen Colbert's longtime assistant Amy Cole in the closing moments of Monday night's show. Jake Plunkett, who serves as the show's director and producer, revealed that Cole was reportedly battling cancer when he took to X to honor his late colleague. Words cannot measure how big a loss Amy Cole is to this world, he wrote. F. Gay Cancer Opus Morishi, one of Colbert's writers and producers, called Cole a beacon of light and joy and calm in the swirling chaos of our workplace. Both men implore their followers to donate to an organization called Radio Lollipop, which focuses on providing care, comfort, play, and entertainment to sick children in hospital. Cole was reportedly involved with the organization for two decades and held a senior leadership role in recruiting volunteers. Amy Nicole Cole was born October 14, 1970, in Houston, Texas. She passed away peacefully on March 31, 2024, in New York, New York, after a brief illness. She was a beloved daughter, sister, aunt, friend and colleague. Amy was known for her caring nature and ability to make everyone she met feel seen and special. It was obvious from the beginning that her purpose in life was to take care of people, and she certainly excelled in that calling. Those who had the good fortune of knowing Amy experienced her as the ultimate caregiver. Her ability to forge lasting friendships was unparalleled, and her love for travel allowed her to spread her goodwill across the globe. After completing her education at St. Agnes Academy, Texas Tech University, and Wheelock College. Amy embarked on a fulfilling career path as a caregiver in various capacities. Upon graduation from college, she worked as a nanny in New Jersey. She went on to earn her master's degree in child life and worked for years as a child life specialist at Texas Children's Hospital in Houston. In 2002, Amy's adventurous spirit inspired her to leave Houston and move to Manhattan. She worked as a production assistant and executive assistant on various television shows, including Tough Crowd with Colin Quinn, The Colbert Report, and The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Working with Colbert for 16 years was more than a job to Amy. It gave her a purpose and provided an opportunity to showcase herself as an incredible teammate to everyone involved. She was adored by her entire Late Show work family, and she will be greatly missed. Amy remembered the important dates in your life, and wrote the most thoughtful notes. She gave nicknames that stuck and recalled hilarious memories in detail. She was instantly loved and admired by every child that she encountered. Amy expressed gratitude. Always, even during difficult times. Amy is survived by her loving parents, Kathy and Warren Cole, her sisters Abby, Mike, Miggins and Libby, Sean, Clancy, her nieces Molly, Kate, Lucy, and Claire Miggins, her nephew Jack Clancy, as well as numerous other surrogate nieces and nephews. Her circle of friends is too numerous to begin to estimate. Once you met Amy, you were a friend for life. A special and sincere thank you to the staff at Memorial Sloan Kettering for their steadfast care and support. 
A memorial service to honor Amy's life will be held at St. Agnes Academy in Meyer Hall on Saturday, April 20th, 2024, at 2 p.m. In honor of Amy's lifelong dedication to children and education, in lieu of flowers, contributions can be made to St. Agnes Academy, Radio Lollipop, or DonorsChoose.org. To plant trees in memory, please visit the Sympathy Store. The ZMC team, Ellen Kuzman, friend Robert Miggins, other Patricia Stoller, and other Debbie Cortez share their memories and condolences for Amy Cole. To offer your sympathy during this difficult time, you can now have memorial trees planted in a national forest in memory of your loved one.